The following program contains adult content and may not be suitable for some children. I guess it really depends on how mature your children are. Hmm. What is an open relationship? That's what I need to know first. I guess... I, I don't guess, understand the concept of what an open relationship is. What is that? I guess when people are in a, a, a legend... It's a sugar and spaghetti type of argument. Like, bitch... <laughs> it's for some people, but it ain't for everybody. And everybody's gonna wanna argue about which preference they like. And some people may judge you for which one you are here for. Yes. If two bottoms get into a relationship, <laughs> I don't even understand that. Like, <laughs> I mean, how, it happens. It, okay, or two tops. I mean, no, no, no. I mean, I, I've, see, I've seen it happen. You put them in that space because you trust them. But right. usually when people come in your house, you keep your motherfucking bedroom door closed. <laughs> Ain't nobody okay. coming in my bed. Okay. And that's the concept of the mon monogamy. Right. Most people don't believe in bringing people into the bedroom. Now, you come to me or I come to you and I say, oh yeah, well in order for this to work, in order for me to continue to love you, that's almost what you're saying. In order for me to continue to love you, mm -hmm. or in order for me to continue to be with you, then you gotta let him come into the relationship and let me have sex with him because I can't continue to love you not unless somebody else is in marriage. And people in the 80s believed in sex. Mm -hmm. And then you got millennials that, so I even know this, people like in the 80s and 90s, they didn't even believe in, women didn't believe in sucking dick <laughs> like that. Relationship, but sexually it ain't panning out. So how do you do? How do you deal with that? Or what would you say to something? Oh like man, I wouldn't. Uh -huh. do, I wouldn't deal with that because <laughs> <laughs> I, I ain't do this. So um, I don't. Mm -hmm. They would give you a side eye or a snicker, or they felt like bitch, I fucked your man. Type of look. Yeah, like at they got you. something over you. And for me mm -hmm. personally, I would need to know because I need to know what space I'm walking in. Mm -hmm. So if I walk into a place and I'm like, you see a bitch you fuck. I need to know. He, he let somebody else in, and the other person that he let in took his boyfriend from him, and now he doesn't oh, have him anymore. Oh, he stole him. So it's like, but it's not like you. He didn't steal anything because you never, op you opened your relationship. So how can you steal something that I give you permission to have? It's not stealing. Mm -hmm. I gave it to you to have. Right. So how can you steal anything? You didn't steal it. You didn't took it. I gave it to you. So that's that's where my conflict comes in with over especially relations. Caucasian folks mm -hmm. that participate in swinger type of hookups and a lot of escorts might know about this uh -huh. or hooking up with a guy that wants their uh, um, somebody to come in and fuck their husband and the wife <laughs> <laughs> and you'll be like bitch what but <laughs>